Casey Ashmore coming to you from the office today. We're doing a little bit of a, of a study on the community supervision or adult probation process. And I wanted to pick up where I left off. But before I do that, as I've done for the last several months, we, you know, given special acknowledgement to the economic impact, which seems to be unending from the coronavirus pandemic, we are hoping and praying that our friends and neighbors and colleagues can get back to work, provide for their families, and you know, return to some semblance of normalcy as soon as possible. Also, we'd be remiss if we didn't acknowledge what's going on in our country. We are all dealing with the tragic death of Mr. Floyd. I am praying for healing and unity for our nation and some light so that we can live up to the motto of our great nation, e pluribus unum, out of many, we are one. So I'm talking about community supervision or adult probation. So what happens if you're a candidate for probation? Well, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to have to make what is called an allocution of guilt. And what that means is you are going to be given a series of documents that sets out in very plain language the details of your constitutional right to a jury trial, to an appeal to certain things, you are going to waive all those rights to jury trial, to an appeal, and in exchange for waiving those rights, the state of Texas is going to make a recommendation to the court about a condition of a plea bargain on a criminal charge that includes the release of the criminal defendant to community supervision or adult probation, as it used to be called. But before that happens, the defendant, the, the person charged with a crime, has to make an allocution of guilt, which means they have to make an admission to the court that they are guilty and that they are pleading guilty for no other reason but for the fact that they are guilty and essentially ask the court to accept the plea offer. The state will put on a short summation of the nature of the offense and the judge then has the right to accept or reject the plea offer. Now, majority of the time, the judge will accept the plea offer and place the defendant on community supervision or probation. What happens after that is the defendant's thumbprint is collected they are remanded to the custody of the community supervision department and they start reporting. And I'm going to go through that in a little bit more detail in the next video series. I hope none of you are ever charged with a crime. Uh, these video series are out there because this happens from time to time to a friend, a neighbor, a loved one. And, you know, I want to put as much information as I can to help friends, neighbors, colleagues, potential clients, answer the questions they need, and also to make sure that social media is used as a force for good in, certainly in my universe, in my, in my sphere of influence. So please like, subscribe, and share. I hope you find these videos informational, uplifting, and helpful. That is what they are intended to be. Leave me a question or comment. I'd be happy to reply. I love replying to it. I love doing these for you. And I'll get back to you in a subsequent video series, direct message back to you or both. More on community supervision or the adult probation process coming to you from the studio next. Thanks.